Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Zahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, we are going to learn how do we create or how do we design dashboard UI design in our Flutter project. So let's get started. First of all, I want to say sorry for my English is not good, so if the word I use are incorrect, please help me to point out. First thing first, we need to create new Flutter project or we can open our existing Flutter project. So right now, I create new Flutter project and we name our Flutter project as dashboard UI app and just press next, next again. Alright, so this is our Flutter project and for the very first, as usual, we have something like a default code. So firstly, we need to delete this test directory and we need to delete all code inside our main.dat and because we want to create from scratch, so we say void main and we want to run our app so inside this run app we say my app and we need to create stateless widget we name it as my app so we need to return material app and inside this material app we say debug so check it mode we say false and again home we say home screen so we need to create new home screen right click inside our lib directory that file and we say home screen and inside this we say stateful widget and we name it as home screen and as usual we need to call our material and we back to main to that again and we need to import our home screen all right and let's run our app all right so this is our app and our app just kind of like black screen or blank screen all right so because we use container and when we use container and when we don't set height or width it will be entire screen so we need to remove our container and we say scaffold widget and when we restart it will be white screen right now and inside this careful widget we can add many properties one of them is a bar bottom navigation bar and much more so right now we want to focus on body and for our body let's say we want to use stack widget because we want to add some widget relative with another widget let's say we want to add image widget below of our text widget and others so before that we need to create or we need to import our assets file which is image font and much more so to do that we need to right click on top level of our flutter project and we create new directory and we name it assets and inside this assets folder we create new directory again we name it as fonts and one more we create new directory we name it as images all right so you can download all the assets file link in the description below so the first is font just copy and paste inside our assets folder paste here and right now we see our font and the second assets is our background just copy paste inside our images all right so the next step is we need to go to our pubspec.yml and we can scroll to see the documentation how do we add assets to our project so right here we can see assets and we say this is assets and what we need to select here is our directory which is assets slash images slash top underscore header all right and we scroll to the bottom and we see 
font family font again and look like this i think we need to copy this and i think we paste right here and uncomment this and i think we need to make it look like this and i think family indentation inside our yaml file it's so important so carefully so i think so we can call our phone right here the first is i think assets slash phones slash monserat and regular dot ttf and we see and for the family we say one serat regular and just pop get all right so process finish with exit code zero so i think we need to add another family we say family and we say one serat uh, medium and for the fonts we say assets fonts and we say monserat medium .ttf. and just pop get again all right we say process finish with at with exit code zero it's mean that we have successfully and we can call our assets file in our project so inside our stack widget we can use uh let's say we can call properties which is children and inside our children we use some widget inside that the first widget is a container and for our container we set the height to be 64 not 64 i think we need to make it to be 30 percent of our screen so we need to create new variable we name it as size and we set it to be media query and we say size so inside this height we say size dot height and times to 0.3 which is it will be 30% uh, of our entire hex screen and below that we say child and for the child we use not child i think a uh, decoration and for the decoration we say box decoration and inside this box decoration we can use image and we say image decoration or decoration image all right and inside this decoration image we say image and we say assets image because we want to use image from assets folder so we say right here assets slash images slash top header dot png and just hot reload and we see our image but we see i think it's bad so to do that inside our decoration image we say alignment and we make it to be top center top center and just hot reload and boom all right and the next step is we want to add another widget which is right here is user image and on the right side is our username and user id so to do that below of our container we say again we say column because uh, we want to add some widget so inside our column the first widget is a container so we say children and we say container and inside our container we say or we set the height to be 64 and for the child we say row and again we say children and inside this row we want to add some widget on the right side we want to use text widget and on the left side we want to use circle avatar and for the background image we call network image and we say we need to use random user so i think like this just copy image address and paste right here and just hot reload 
and we see and i think we want to set the radius to be 32 and hot reload it's bigger than before all right on the right side we want to add text widget so we say uh, column because we want to use some widget and the first widget is text widget and we say like say turn record and the second widget text again and we say user id it's kind of like a dummy all right look like this but i think this is very very bad because our latest device or current device uh, have notch so to do that we need to wrap our column widget right here and we need to wrap this column widget with save area and when we press this hot reload and it will be on the save area we need to wrap column widget again and we need to wrap with padding and we set it to 16 all right i think it's more beautiful and again for our row widget we say i think right here we say cross axis alignment we set it to start all right and for our column widget we say main axis alignment and we set it to be center all right so it's center and for the cross axis alignment we set it to be start all right look like this so i think we need to sum margin so we use a size box and for the width we set it to 16 and hot reload and we have some margin all right so i think we need to make our text widget to be more beautiful so we can use style and for the text style we can say let's say the first is font family and we use Montserrat medium and hot reload now things appear so we can see on pubspec yaml so we see i think we need to copy this and paste right here and i think we need to restart our app all right still not working so let's do another let's say color all right make it bigger so we say font size set it to 20. all right so i have fixed the problem so after i stop the app and restart it will be fixed Alright, so let's jump to another step. So the next step is we want to add some cut view, which is we want to use something like grid or grid view. So inside our column widget and below of our container, we say grid view and we use grid view dot count and for the cross axis count we set it to 2 and for another properties is the first is main axis spacing we set it to 10 cross axis spacing set it to 10 and for primary we set it to false and for the children we use cut and inside this cut widget we want to use or we want to set svg factor or svg image so we need to add new dependencies to our flutter project and that is flutter svg and just press installing and copy this and we back to android studio and we go to pubspec yaml again and i think right here we paste flutter svg pubget again and still working and we see exit code zero it's mean that we have successfully import flutter svg and i think we need to call right here we need to call flutter svg and inside our cut we can call svg which is uh, chill and we say for the child we set it to column and we say children and we say svg picture dot network because we want to use svg pictures from internet so this is the link and copy inside that and hot reload so we don't see anything 
so i think we need to wrap this widget with expanded and hot reload and we see and we see bottom overflow by blah 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 and inside this svg picture we can say for the width or for the height we set it to 128 all right look like this and i think we can give a margin i think right here so we need to go to our i think our container and below this head we say margin and edge inset only bottom we set it to uh, something like 20 all right look like this and below of our svg icon we want to add text widget and we say personal data and hot reload and we see look like this and we go to our column and we set alignment which is cross axis alignment or i think main axis alignment we set it to center and now our svg icon and our text widget center horizontally all right and i think we want to make our text widget to be more beautiful so we need to create new variable and we can set like a uh, font family and much more but before that inside our cut widget we can use elevation and we set it to be 4 look like this so we need to create new variable and and let's say we set it style and we say for text style and we say let's say cut text style and we assign with text style where is okay and inside that we say font family and we say i think regular and now we can call our style inside our cut widget we say style cut text style and hot reload and now we see and the next step is we can change the size 14 and for the color we set it to color rgb oh and let's say 63 63 63 and set it to one and hot reload again all right look like this and the next step is we can uh, make it to be rounded so we go to cut again and we can set shape and let's say border and i think around the rectangle border and inside that we say border radius and we say border radius dot circular we set it to be eight and look like this so the next step is we can uh, duplicate this cut widget five times so i think right here duplicate so we have four two again all right and let's change this and let's change icon and let's change svg link or svg resource all right look like this and we can customize this cut widget and we can customize our grid view we can make it three item horizontally and much more so i think that's enough my video today and if you have any questions or comment write it down on the comment field and if you want to download source code link in the description below thank you so much and see you again on the next video